family, my name is Nadine. Welcome to God in the Home. As usual, you know, I like to touch base with you and I like for you to touch base with me and my family. And it is always a privilege to have you stop by at our home from time to time and it is a pleasure for us to be in your home, in your space. So how are you? How is everyone doing? How is the love going on in your house, in your home? Well, if everything is not okay at this point in time, I hope that by the time, by the end of this video, that it will be better, at least a little better, and then as we put into practice some of the things that we'll be talking about from time to time, every time we link up like this, then I hope that um, each day will just get better and better and better with God in our home. So as you can see, I am in my kitchen. Now I'm going to cook, but I'm about to put away some of this stuff that we have. Uh, I, I have, you know, you have spaces, you put your flour, your rice, your stuff like that. So I have my jars that I will be filling up with my food items and I'm putting them away. So I have some red peas or some we call it red beans. So this is my jar for it. So I will be pouring in the peas into the container and putting it away. Why you know with us chit chat? What are you doing at this time in your home? Hmm? What are you doing? As I am here pouring in these, I'm thinking about some of the things that we do in our family that we pour into ourselves as individuals in our family to make the family better, you know? So I'm putting the rice in here so we can cook to full our bellies. But some of the things that we sometimes, I know all of us have dreams and we have aspirations and we have goals, you know, things like education, the career. Some of us, we, 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 we would like to have a, a wife or a, a husband, you know, kids even. And the list goes on and on and on. These are things that we really hope for. And all of these things, money too, because that is very important in the family. Cars and all these things, they make the family more comfortable and all of these things. And they are very good for the family. But you know, sometimes, uh, and I think about it, while it is good to have all of these things, the education and all of those things, the husband, the wife, the kids, the career, all of those things, while it is good sometimes, what you find is missing from the home is love. A lot of times that is not there. And it's not just love, it is the love of God. Sometimes that is missing from our home. And um, it is important for us to really seek after the love of Christ and all of that. Um, when you, it is the love of God that is gonna cause us from time to time. If, if as husband and wife, if we have a disagreement, and if you know we say something that hurt the other person, it is the love of God in us that is going to cause us to apologize. It is the love of God that is going to cause us to say, I am sorry, you know? And sometimes we have to agree to disagree because saying I'm sorry doesn't mean that, okay, I am necessarily the one that was wrong or so. We're not gonna cast any blame here. But the love of God in us is what is gonna cause us to, to compromise and to agree to disagree. Sometimes we say harsh things and it's not just to each other as spouse. Sometimes we as parents, the way in which we speak to our kids, sometimes it is not nice. Uh, we might shout or say some things that, you know, because we are angry or upset at the time, we say some things that really and truly don't mean or shouldn't say. We have to remember that our kids, our children, young adults too, they do have feelings. And if we are wrong, we are to say, we are sorry, we are to apologize to them. I remember growing up with my parents when we were, um, we would never ever know when my father and my mother were having a disagreement. We would never know. We never hear anything, nothing at all. 
and uh, and not to say that they did not have disagreement i am sure they did as every couple every household you have that in there but they never let us as kids hear them quarrel never ever and they would get up and go about their regular duties just the same and we just couldn't tell and that is something that i would want to you know carry over into my home and i would love for you to carry that over into your home in doing so this is us teaching our children how to be good citizens good citizens are around because it's the training it starts into the home whatever we practice here as the saying say you learn to 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 what say you learn to dance a yard before you go dance abroad something like so i think that's what it said that's what it said the jamaican saying but we have to start the training from home as parents train up a child in the way she'll go when he's old he will not depart from it we have to set those things but our children really live what they learn and they learn what they live so when mommy and daddy get into a fuss get into a fight and they quarrel we should be big enough to apologize and when we do our kids wrong they we should be able to apologize to them and them in in return apologize to us when they do things that are wrong because we want them to respect us so we also have to teach them respect show them respect so it doesn't just come from one side these things can come together and be, can be made possible when we really and truly have the love of god in us because the love of god it it cause us to stop and think before we speak it really does that because it and even if you don't get a chance to, to think before you speak and it come out then because of that love of god within you the holy spirit impress upon you to go to the person and try to make amends of whatever happened you understand a friend of mine a good friend of mine once told me that words are something that when you say them you can't take them back you can't take them back and it is true they stay with you and words can either build you or it can damage you it can cause you to either just roll up and die or it can cause you to just come alive so what are the words that we want to put out there yeah, you get what i'm saying and even with with siblings with each uh, the, the, the love of god will help us to just kind of just think about the other person's feelings before we act you know but we can only acquire this love of god by asking him we cannot do it like it i said all sailor in a bulk this is an individual thing you see this jar right here so i pull up all of these jars as you can see this have the peas this have the rice this have the flour this is the jar that i usually use to put my pasta in whether it is macaroni or spaghetti but right now i don't have any so i'm gonna have to go to the source which is either supermarket or so to purchase that to put in here so i have and this is my favorite jar because this jar i love pasta anything with pasta so of all these jars this is my favorite whereas the rice the flour the peas all of these things would i love this but right now this is empty and i have to go to the source what is it that you have i don't have in your personal jar at this time yeah, that I'm saying that we have the career, we have the house, we have the husband, we have the wife. But then what is missing from that one empty jar at your personal jar in your home right now? You understand? And the only way we can get it is to really ask, ask for it. Um, in Matthew 7, verse 78, it says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you for everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be opened so we can always whatever is missing from our empty personal jars the one the, the, that we can fill up where that missing of the love of, where the love of god is missing we can go to the father and we can ask him these things he says if we ask we will get it we will receive it so family if we lack love in our homes today how about getting a little personal with our prayers and ask our father our heavenly father to fill us with that which is missing from our personal jars 
let that be a part of our prayer today for God to fill us with the love of God in our hearts so that our hearts can be filled with love for each and every one of our family member that is present. After our prayer, let us pray, not pray, after our prayer, let us pledge to let love begin with me. And in 1 John 4, verse 7 and 8, it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and know, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. And if we do not know God as yet, we can start right now by taking the time to spend time in his words, to ask the Holy Spirit to lead us and to guide us so that we can experience and get to know God. So we can have that godly love in our homes and in our hearts. And if we already have it, we cannot have too much of it. We continue to pray and ask on a daily basis for the love of God to fill us up. As always, it's been a pleasure having you here at God in the Home. Until next time, let's go spread a lot of that love that we will be receiving from God this week.